Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, very good morning. Today, I would like to share my experience as a transport planner when I was working in City Hall of Kuala Lumpur. Uh, uh, way back, eh? way back to uh, KLCC development in 1991. Of course, uh, during that time, uh, this area uh, is actually a turf club. Eh? Uh, that's why the name of Jalan Lumba Kuda still here, that means horse racing. Uh, but we plan something big here. Of course, the first one is the Twin Tower, KLCC. And we have Mandarin Hotel here, Maxis Tower here, and a few other development here. And of course, here Binjai Tower, and other development uh, around here. Around here. Um, and the total uh, floor area is about 600,000 square meter. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a huge development. Uh, to give you an idea, what is it, how big uh, it is, uh, uh, let's say we take the trip rate, uh, trip rate uh, in the morning, uh, trip rate is about 3.5 trip uh, per hour in the morning per 100 uh, square meter of low area. Let's, say, let's just make it round uh, 3.0. That means the total trip attracted to this area uh, just multiply 3 by this one, divide by 100 uh, square meter. So it will be 18,000 yeah, trip uh, per hour. Per hour. Uh, uh, during that time, uh, the model split uh, for in that area, uh, the, sh the share of uh, uh, car trip is actually about 55% by car. Let's say make it round figure, say so fifty percent. That means we have we have nine thousand yeah, a trip by car, uh, and uh, the average occupancy uh, of a car uh, during that time is about one point five percent per car, yeah, per car. So if you uh, divide this one so we will have about 6,000 car trip eh? uh, per hour yeah? uh, during that time so this is a, a huge number of car considering at the time Jalan Tun Razak eh? uh, this is Jalan Tun Razak Jalan Tun Razak is only 2x2 two two, uh, lane or 4 lanes and Jalan Ampang also 2x2 two and there are concerned only one by one or there are two lanes and we don't have this uh, Ampang elevated highway uh, so we have on the river Ampang river at that time so we uh, carried out uh, analysis the standard analysis first we, of course the uh, three uh, generation analysis and two uh, three uh, 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 distribution yeah. distribution and three is a uh, uh, modal split modal split and four is a uh, three assignment so you just see just now uh, we, we uh, the traffic attracted to this area is about 6,000 car this is in a huge number so we set our objective our objective the first objectives uh, to reduce eh? to reduce car trip eh? uh, by improving uh, public transport and two uh, to cope, to cope 
with uh, the future demand the future demand so for the first objective the first uh, uh, okay this is the twin tower and the twin tower again here the twin tower here for the first objective uh, we have a plan uh, at a time to construct uh, an LRT service eh? uh, under this river under this river so why we choose why we have uh, choose uh, the river because under the river actually no piling no piling no pipe no uh, cable so we can uh, drill a tunnel uh, quite freely but uh, the river uh, to the uh, the development quite far so in order uh, to have more people using public transport we suggested at that time to divert uh, the LRT to this area Janampang and go back to the river again and so it will be so near to uh, KLCC and uh, we asked KLCC to provide uh, a big a big uh, bus stop eh, in front of the development uh, here somewhere here so to cater at least uh, five buses can uh, stop uh, simultaneously yeah. that's our uh, first uh, our second proposal for the public transport and then uh, because uh, many people will uh, will walk uh, from the train station or to cross the road and at that time Jalan Ampang is notorious for the accident that involve a pedestrian so we ask KLCC to provide pedestrian tunnel uh, across the street and also to connect the the uh, train station to the uh, twin tower so that's for the uh, public transport and to cope for the uh, future demand so uh, we suggested at the time to widen uh, Jalan uh, Tun Razak to four lane and to construct uh, underpass eh, underpass here uh, here yeah, here yeah, uh, here Jalan Bukit Bintang and Jalan Tun Razak and Jalan Ampang Jalan Tun Razak and overpass eh, overpass here about 1.5 kilometers long uh, and of course Jalan Ampang to be widened to six lane yeah, so, so this one will be widened to six lane and this one also to uh, six lane to six lane uh, and Jalan Piramli to four lane and Jalan Jalan Seng to four lane Piramli four lane and of course Jalan Kiapeng also become four lane and Jalan Pinang for lane uh, and to have a good access uh, to the development we suggested uh, to construct uh, a tunnel uh, from this elevated highway uh, directly to to the uh, basement kapak in kapak and from uh, Jalan Tun Raza directly uh, to the to the KLCC development. So now uh, you can see uh, the development, uh, the KLCC, the Twin Tower. You can go to that area by car, uh, quite comfortable. Of course, congest a uh, little bit congestion, but still manageable. Or you can come, you can go there by train or by by bus. Eh? So that's uh, uh, my small uh, contribution. Uh, to the development in KL uh, and this is actually the reason why we have to conduct a traffic impact assessment study. Thank you very much.